nigga, I'm on that next now. I'm sold 3,008, you sold 2,000 and late. I got that boom, 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 that future boom, boom, boom. Let me get Hi guys, it's uh, Shish Kebabber here, coming right back at you with another Boom Beach video. Today guys, I've got a sick, sick video in store for you, and I, <laughs> I do mean sick. I'm, I'm still really sick. It's, it's just getting worse. Uh, my plane flight's at 9.45 in the morning tomorrow, and it's going to be rough. I got two flights, uh, going into New Jersey and then into Dallas from Montreal. Anyway, um, I think it's going to be a little bit weird when I'm on vacation. I'm going to be on vacation visiting family and friends in Texas for about two and a half weeks. I will keep the content coming. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do that. Uh, I might just do it all through my phone. I've got an editor that will allow me to do that, even even with some uh, some uh, video with my, my lovely face. So uh, we're going to see. I have no idea how it's going to work for these next two weeks, but it is. It is. I don't, don't worry. More videos are coming, guys. Okay, so let's see. Tonight's video... We're, I, I, was, I boosted the, uh, my statues late last night. I wasn't able to get a video out. I've been super busy doing a million things, preparing for this trip, also testing out Lasertrons. Um, I don't actually have the Lasertrons right now. The reason is I want to actually save a couple of the blueprints and buy them right at the end before the trader leaves because I'm hoping, I'm hoping that when the trader comes Friday, she might have another set of blueprints for another proto troop. And this way I'll be able to stack two types of proto troops. So I'm, I'm not using them right now tonight, guys, and that, that's the reason why. Well, that and I just don't really have enough time to get good value out of them. Uh, again, you're going to hear some sniffles in this video quite a bit. I, I do apologize. Okay. Um, but, so what I want to jump into is uh, a couple of replays that I managed to actually have some successful attacks on last night. Trying some different troop uh, combinations with the laser tanks. This one I actually kind of enjoyed. This was a, uh, what was it, a 2-2-2-2. Two, 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 two. It was two Scorchers, two tanks, two boats of Lasertrons, and two boats of Grens. With a Dr. Kavan with the uh, the Healing Critters, or what are they called? The uh, That's not quite their name, I don't think. Crystal Critters, with the Crystal Critters. As you can see, guys, I've actually uh, worked this one up kind of high, so uh, don't ask. It's, it was something I was doing in the past. But th these do have their their moments. Basically, the thing is, is it's like having a whole little group of medics that you don't mind if they get shot at all. Normally, I don't mind if my medics get shot anyway, but these guys especially, I don't mind. And they have the bonus effect of actually being able to heal Kavan. So... Uh, the idea here was I just wanted to come into the base with the Scorchers, uh, kind of tear stuff up, keep them healed as long as possible, and then hopefully we cleared out enough stuff, we gave the laser trons enough time to fire. Now obviously a troop setup like this cost a tremendous amount of GBE to launch, so uh, I didn't have much GBE on the, uh, you know, to bark stuff down. So let, let's, let's jump into this battle here. Um, this guy was running some ice. I think we have some boosted ice back here. Uh, anyway, we're, right now we're just barding down the uh, the shock blaster. But yeah, this guy's got 64% boosted ice, and I think he had another 13% uh, that was boosted as well. And uh, anyway, so uh, I'm just gonna go off camera for a second. And watch what's going on here, guys. Yeah. Oh, you saw my my green screen, aka my sleeping bag that's hung up over my closet. Uh, yeah, I'm going to improve all this stuff in the future as the channel progresses. I'll, I'll get real equipment. Okay, so right now we launch all the stuff. We got the uh, Scorchers out there. They're getting all the fire of everything. Dr. Kavan is probably about to drop his Crystal Critters. There we go. Um, I'm just trying to keep things up for as long as possible. Remember, when troops get healed by Kavan, they have a damage reduction of like 10 or 15%. So that's good too. But we already see this, this hurts. The guy also has a... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Building damage statue as well. Uh, so uh, stuff hurts a lot. But we see our lasers doing some work. We see our grens doing work. Tanks are kind of holding up the fort. Uh, Kavan went down. But uh, so we, at this point, we've got no healing left. There's just no healing to be had here. Now, um, we're doing good. We got shocks laid down. We're coming in. And uh, let's just go to two times, though. These these things are ungodly slow, unfortunately. Uh, now, GBE is really tight, and this boom cannon shock launcher combo up here was hurting. So there goes a cryo bomb, which, guys, by the way, that is the best part of this update is the cryo bomb. I've been getting some really, really cool cryo bombs in some of my attacks. They, they can work as extra shocks or whatever you need. Excuse me again. Um... And that helped to slow things down. Uh, we've got the splash damage of the Grenadiers, and I th think... Did the Lasertrons die? Yeah, they sure did. But, nonetheless, this base went down. Um, we don't see his name on the replay, do we? 
that's that is weird. Oh, is it because I'm playing it through the guild chat? I don't know. I, I put these replays in the or in the task force chat because I wasn't sure if they would still be on my map to show them to you later. Um, okay, this one right here was Bullet's Best. This was Bullet's Best, where I completely removed the Grenadiers, and I just put in Lasertrons. So we had uh, one boat of tanks, three boats of medics, three boats of me one boat of tanks, three boats of medics, and uh, four boats of Lasertrons. Again, fully boosted. Fully boosted. You've got to have a lot of GBE even to attempt to use these things. So, right. Here I'm laying down some hurt on the uh, Shock Blaster and Shock Launcher. And, uh, Again, guys, GBE is very tight on this setup, too. So you're going to see something kind of interesting. I, I pulled a pretty cool move on this one, I guess. Uh, what I'm going to do, actually, I end up leaving the Shock Blaster up. You see it's very low on health, but um, we're going we're gonna to zap it with a laser, guys. That's what I was thinking, and it actually worked because those guys had such long range. Uh, 16 for the uh, laser fire trail, as we called it in our last video. 16 tiles for that laser fire trail. So keep an eye on that shock blaster up there. We put down a nice cryo bomb just to kind of slow things down. Uh, these these uh, laser trons are not like my grands. They do not provide as much DPS. But what they do have is that extremely long range, and I actually managed to take use of it here. Bullets getting low on health. We give them an energy drink, but boom! Just like that, the laser tron takes out the shock blaster that was like a mile away, or uh, 1.6 kilometers. Just depends what country you're in. And guys, uh, I'm really sorry. I just have to keep wiping my nose here. It's it's like a faucet that won't stop. Um, anyway, bullet is a. Uh, Energized again with the energy drink. He's feeling good, feeling happy. Now, I see that the uh, Lasertrons are in trouble. I try to reflare, but a little too slow, a little too slow, so we lost a Lasertron to a boom mine. But that's okay, we're reflaring. We've cleared out a nice chunk, and at this point, we're just going to try to come up from the bottom of the base and work our way up to the, uh, to the HQ. That's the idea. You know, we want to have Bullet out in front. Um, he's getting there, he's getting there. Kind of a slow guy. The tank's gonna take a couple of shots from the cannon, but remember guys, that's what those tanks are there for. They're our secondary line of defense when Bullet's off doing whatever the heck it is he does. Um, and now you see, it's it's just gonna be clockwork from here. Uh, it, it gets a little tight because GBE was still very, very scarce. It wasn't like what I was used to, so we were extremely, extremely low on health here, guys. And somehow, this, this was, I believe, the last energy drink I could afford. Um, and there was still a lot of stuff up that could do a lot of damage to him. What we're going to see here is actually the benefit of the little shuffle that the Lasertrons like to do. The Lasertron shuffle, guys. Lasertron shuffle. It's actually pretty darn uh, useful here because of the fact that when they lock onto a target and they kind of change direction from here and there, I think what they're doing is they're actually lining up their shots with other things that are behind it. Now, Bullet is taking a tremendous amount of damage. I've got nothing else I can do. There's I, no way I can uh, get another energy drink going. Those healers are just pumping out their heals, man, like little, little champs that they are. Uh, I'm trying to keep all the damage down. I shocked the two units that are behind Bullet. Um, I'm hoping that someone takes down that boom cannon in front of them. But it is really tight, really tight. You see, I put down the healing. I'm doing everything I can to keep him up. It's rare that you see me heal him, but I didn't want him to fall. If he was to go down, it, this would have been game over. However, fortunately, it wasn't. Uh, obviously, we won. And um, what you can see is his health is just awesomely awesomely low which means he's doing 200 percent damage or 100 percent bonus damage however you want to look at it you see those laser trons man they are just working all over the hq getting all the angles just carving out things in this regard i noticed it's really cool it is really cool and uh yeah green screen seems to be fading that's okay um let's just speed it up as you can see stuff goes down boom 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 and we kill it we kill it guys uh amazing like this, this, I am not recommending this by by any means. It was tough. There were actually a lot of fails uh, before I could provide any of these replays to you guys. So, yeah. Um, right. I don't know what's up with the green screen tonight, guys, but I'm not going to mess with it. I don't have time. I'm really, really in a hurry. Uh, the last talk I want to show you again was that Kevon, uh, for uh, two boats of Scorchers, two boats of tanks, two boats of Lasertrons, two boats of Grenadiers, and Kevon with the Crystal Critters. Uh, Save the best for last. I think this was the best one. Um, okay. And you see this guy, he is... I know they've all got ice here. I don't remember how much of what, but... 
37 damage, building health 31. I think he's got a couple of other guardians tucked away. How many statues do we see in front? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Never mind, that's it. He's just got two MPs. Okay, so I wasn't able to take down anything super, super fantastic with these, but... I was able to get some results, okay? So that, that's what I'm showing you here. Again, guys, top level play, I, I'm just going to go on the record. I do not, absolutely do not recommend Lasertrons unless unless we can find a, a really good strategy to use them. But I just I just don't think we can. They're, they're too darn expensive with the 18 GBE cost. And it just prevents being able to do too many other things. So you see, we got the Crystal Critters down. We uh, shock the Hot Pop when it pops. Shock it when it pops. Shock it when it pops. You know how we roll. We got the... Uh, the, the uh, Cryo bomb going down. That thing is awesome, guys. Again, best part of the update. I need to. I need to do a video just about, you know, crazy ways to use the cryo bomb because there are many, many, many uses for this thing, guys. Um, you can even use it like as a final shock uh, on your smoky attacks. If you just need a few more seconds and you can't afford a shot, put down a cryo bomb, guys. The defenses will take a while to actually attack your uh, zukas or your warriors. Anyway. See, we're kind of all over the field here. We got troops on the left, troops on the right. So we're going to reflare and get everyone together. We're getting everyone to the top. Let's just go in double time. Um, we're getting everyone to the top, and we're just going to work our way into the to the base. Uh, it's pretty pretty straightforward. Again, keep in mind, though, there are no healers here. Uh, Kaban is down, so we do have to be very mindful about the damage we take. One of the reasons I had to go with the setup, or I, I tried, tried the setup with Kaban, was because... The Lasertrons lack so much damage, I had to supplement it with more damage from troops, okay? But they had to be the right kind of troops that had the right uh, standoff range. That's why you see Grens and Tanks. Um, Kavam was there just to give spot heals at the beginning, during during the rough parts. The rough parts where we really, really hurt from not having enough GBE. Now, uh, oops, sorry about a little bit of lag on the screen. Okay. So anyway, that's that. There, there were some boosted Lasertron attacks, guys. Now, they... Uh, I don't know. They, they they weren't the best, I suppose, but it was something. Again, excuse me again. Um, anyway, guys. Anyway, guys. You know, I, there is one more attack I do want to share with you. It was, uh, I know it's all a whole bunch of replays tonight, guys. I'm sorry. I, I'm going to do a special attack. I'm going to do a boosted crazy warrior attack on an op to close this video out. But I want to show you one more. Just as I was going through, kind of clearing my map today, when stuff pops up, I always want to see if I can take it down. See, I have a, I have a pretty good success ratio. Although a lot of those are... Um, NPC bases. This one, though, this was fun. This was Bullet's Best. Bullet's Best, unboosted, unboosted, against a pretty pretty well-boosted player base here. He's got boosted ice up in the front, 62%. Uh, I know he's hiding some more ice somewhere. This guy was around 100% health, and uh, I think he was around 37% damage, give or take. But uh, here you go. You see we're working. We're just working on the uh, Shock Blaster. It's a Shock Blaster 3 back there. And uh, whenever I see a shock launcher in the front, I'm usually tempted just to, to eat the shocks because early on, I, I want to get bullets health low anyway, and that kind of helps. Now, the only thing is I want to make sure that the shock launcher is shocked or otherwise incapacitated or distracted by the time I need to use that first energy drink because I don't want to be shocked when uh, taking the energy drink. I don't want to miss that, that damage boost. Anyway, so we're moving in. We did a uh, bullet right, tank left, standard drop. Uh, three healers middle, two grins right, two grins left. Moving right along. Uh, bullet is taking most of these shocks, but everything's looking good. Now, the boom cannon just took a big hit on one of our tanks, but the tank is still standing. They can usually survive one hit, but never two. It just depends how much they boost their, their uh, damage, though. Now, you see, we put them under shock. Um... And I'm not sure. Here, yeah, here comes the energy drink. We're right inside of the uh, the dead zone of the shock launcher, so that's why he wasn't able to lock on the bullet. And I'm also reflaring at the same time I took the energy drink just to get everyone going. The idea with this base, guys, the way he had it lined up was really to his demise. You see, there are two main lanes. There's a left lane and a right lane. My my goal here is just to take out some rockets and just to come in on the right side. That means I can avoid a whole lot of troops. So yeah, that tank that went north or whatever, west, whatever you want to call it, I just smoked him. I, he didn't need to be over there and get shot. These healers are taking a few hits, a few hits. We've got a Doom Cannon up that's also digging into them, but bullets right back in the front, right back where we want them. And uh, moving right through, moving right through. Uh, bullet still has the attention of the Doom Cannon. The uh, tank's about to get popped by the cannon at the bottom of our screen, but now the cannon is on bullet. I think an energy drink comes in here. Maybe not. No, there'd be no point. Um, anyway, bullet's coming up. Bullet's coming up. And as you see, he's right back on the Doom Cannon. 
right where we want. In fact, nobody's straying off. Everyone's staying in the right lane. It's really good. And I'm going to make sure they stay on that right lane. So we, we flare them way over to the right. And at this point, guys, we're just going to march our way up to the base. And uh, it's pretty good. Everything, everything again, is under control. We've lost very few troops. All of our tanks are there. And uh, we've probably lost a few... Uh, few medics, we always lose a few medics, and, uh, okay, here comes a nice cryobomb. Bullet's health is getting low, I want to kind of control the amount of damage he takes as he approaches the HQ, that was the reason for the cryobomb, that, and I wanted to slow down the, uh, the shocks from the shock launcher. Okay, moving right along, guys, moving right along. Now, let's go to two times. This is just a slugfest now. I'm shocking things down, bullet, again, is extremely dangerously, dangerously low on health. I like to I like to live dangerously. Look at that guy. Does he even have any health? I don't know, but he's still standing. Unlike this HQ. Now we are running low on time. I think I finished this. Excuse me. I think I finished this with 10 seconds remaining. So this this was tight because I wasn't boosted, and the guy did have a shield. So that's why we had to go straight after the shield generator. Thankfully, he put the shield gen right there, and boom, just like that, it goes down. All right, I gotta attend to my nose once again, gentlemen. Boom! Right back, right back. Sorry guys, it's, it's, it's horrible being sick and dealing with this and trying to do these videos, but I can't let a day go by, especially because I'm going on vacation here. Now, without further ado, I don't want to waste your time. We are going to go nuts, guys. We are going to go nuts. We are going to boost, and I'm going to do a crazy, crazy warrior hit for you tonight. Will it work? Well, I'm feeling confident. Have I warmed up? No. No, I haven't. That's usually a bad thing, but... Um, well, because I'm technically on vacation already, even though I'm sick, I just feel great mentally. So I think mentally I'm already prepared. Now, let's get our boats loaded up. Yeah, I don't go back to work till like uh, Monday, January the 8th. So almost three weeks here. It's going to be great. Now, um, okay, here we go. Bullet, taunt. Yes, yes, yes. Here's what we're going to hit, guys. I opened up this op just a little bit ago. We've already had several people attack. Uh, good job. They've already got a few things down. Um, okay. Anyway, we're going after Centaur, guys. Go big or go home. That's what I always say. I also say blow your nose, too. Boom. Right back. Right back. Did you miss me? Um, right. So, this is a, a big base. A big, bad base. Centaur. You can't even see it with my darn green screen. 190 task force points. Now, I thought about doing a few things. I could do bullets best, this, that, the other. You know, again, I'm sure there are a lot of other attacks that would be uh, better. Warriors, you probably never really want to bring into an op. Um, I've got this grappler over here who might become a problem. But here's what I'm thinking, guys. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, bring the warriors in over here. Take out these shield gens. Bust a bullet taunt right here. Toss some critters up here, maybe. Yeah, critters here would be good. And um, that way it gets all the attention of uh, Doom Cannons that are, at, that are not in the range of Bullets Taunt, if that if there are any. As soon as we get all those Shield Gens down, we also need to keep these rockets over here, like with a shock. We'll just shock these guys down, I think. Might even Cryobomb them. Actually, we're going to try a Cryobomb. We're going to Cryobomb right here. Hopefully that mitigates the damage enough. I'll drop down a heal. Uh, if it gets too bad, I'll drop down a couple of heals. Anyway, once those are out, then we're going to actually move up and work on these rockets. While we're up on these rockets, we're going to approach them under smoke. And once the smoke wears off, we just need to shock these rockets. Are these shock launchers in range? Ah, oh, these shock launchers are in range. So we need to shock these rockets and these shock launchers. The goal is to take out as many rockets as possible. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's basically it, guys. It might be kind of crazy, but the idea is, once I clear all that out... Another task force member can just come through on the right side and start clearing all that stuff out, farming all that GBE, and they don't have to worry about all these rockets pinging them the whole way. So, again, oh, just really got to keep the sinuses clear. Okay, okay, here we go, guys, here we go. This is going to be an epic fail, I'm sure. So, right now, I already apologized to my task force, but uh, no, it's not going to be an epic fail. We got it. We just got to keep Cryobomb on here. The shock launcher won't be in range till we're actually on these rockets. And, uh, yeah. Okay. I don't know. I, th I think, I just, I think it's going to work. I can see this playing out in my mind. I just got to be quick and I got to pay attention to the flare delay. Let's go. Let's get it on. Here we go, guys. Open it up. Opening it up on Centaur. Okay. 
We're not going to do anything fancy on the drop. We're just going to flare straight to the boom cannon. Maybe put a smoke here. Smoke here. Smoke here and here. As long as I don't grab bullet. Alright. Let's come up here. Smoke, smoke. Taunt. That actually, that's very early on taunt. Never do that. If he was to pop out of the smoke, he would have taunted prematurely. That would have been bad. Getting the cryo bomb ready. Dropping now. Dropping a heal. I forgot to do critters. We'll put those up there. Now's where we need to redirect our warriors a little bit because they do like to go crazy. We're going to retaunt. Did we get them all? Did we get them all? Okay, now we're coming up here. Smoke, smoke, smoke. Where's bullet? Is he alive? I think he's alive. I see the taunt button. How are we doing on GB? We're doing pretty good. Okay, taunt is going up. This time we got to do double shocks. Double shocks, guys. Shocking here and here. Let's put a heal down. We're going to retaunt. I'm going to go up to these shock launchers, to these rocket launchers up here. Smoke. Cryobomb. And how many can we kill, guys? How many can we kill? I don't know. I don't know, but we're going to take out as many as we can. That is the idea. That is the idea. Come on, warriors. Come on, guys. I'm really low on GBE. Not much I can do to help you. I will just put an artillery down. Yeah, we got one of them out. We got one of them out. That's good. You know what? Pretty successful, guys. Look at that. Cleared out the key targets I wanted to. I was hoping to maybe get some more bonus damage up here, but uh, there you go. Crazy warrior attack on Centaur. Uh, I'm sure I know better things could have been done with Zookas and all that, but uh, there you go. Just want to bring in these warriors. I, I'm going to miss these guys. I love these boosted warriors during this tribal cycle. It's awesome. Oh, look, my base is, uh, can be attacked at any moment now. I've been on the game too much today. So I think that's a sign, guys. I think it's a sign I need to stop this video right now. Again, as always, thank you so much for watching these videos. Uh, I want you guys to have a great, awesome, awesome day. An awesome holiday season as you uh, go back with your friends and family. Remember, guys, it's December. It's Boom Beach Month, so share this game. And, uh, oh, look, I'm getting attacked. Um, yeah, it's what happens when you're this high in the VP. Anyway, guys, remember, have a great, great holiday season. I'm going to see you guys again soon. I'm going to be doing some vlogs, I think, while I'm in Texas. I'll show you some of the different places I'm going as well. So that should be really cool. But, yeah, as always, um, have a great, fantastic day. And remember, guys, be kind to others. Because if you're not, I just don't know what you're doing. I just don't know what you're doing. Take care.